if you are having irregular cycles or you frequently miss your period you may have pcos and if you have pcos you may already know that you struggle with irregular cycles and today i want to talk to you about how exercise can help resolve uh, irregular cycles when you have pcos so let's start with some just straight hard cold facts so that you can feel confident about the choices you're making at the gym or at your home workout in regards to your fertility or just regulating your cycles because remember even if you're not trying to have a baby regular cycles are a hallmark of female health so you want those regardless of uh, what your fertility or your um, family planning future holds okay so seven different studies have um, shown that exercise particularly in overweight and obese women with pcos leads to the resumption of ovulation so the return of their cycle and that is with or without a dietary intervention so simply if you start working out um, you will increase the likelihood that you will have a regular cycle whether or not you lose weight whether or not you need to lose weight, whether or not you change your diet. So exercise in and of itself helps improve the likelihood that if you have PCOS, you will have regular ovulation. Okay, so let's talk about the amount of exercise. It seems that 30 to 60 minutes a day of vigorous exercise is correlated with better ovulation in patients with PCOS. So vigorous exercise is, um, you know, you're breaking a sweat, you can't chit chat, gossip, or watch television easily while you're working out. And um, what you might be wondering is, is well, what about over-exercising and losing my period? So that is a big deal. And I have a video on PCOS and over-exercising that you should check out if that's you. But um, research suggests that exercising at a vigorous pace, so heavy exercise, over 60 minutes in a day is associated with missing your period or not ovulating. Okay, so there's an increased risk once you go past the 60 minute mark when you have PCOS as far as vigorous exercise goes. All right, now as far as the type of exercise you choose, um, there isn't a whole, whole lot of research on that. So I'm going to give you my tips based off my experience as a woman who's coached people with PCOS and a woman living with PCOS. Um, so number one is that the most effective way to lower your androgens, your testosterone, when you have PCOS, as far as exercise go, is to strength train. So um, if you are having trouble with your cycles, it stands to reason that you're probably having some high androgens. Uh, so incorporating strength training would be a good way to lower your androgens. Also, the research seems to indicate that vigorous exercise, so intense exercise, again, not really relaxed exercise, is an important piece of the puzzle. Though that's not to say that every workout you do needs to be intense, but it looks like if you average about 120 minutes a week of intense exercise, and this isn't like maximum effort. This is just, you know, think like 70 to 90% of your maximum effort right in there, somewhere in that zone. And that would be individualized to you, right? Because it depends on your fitness level, where your effort is at. Um, that tends to yield the best results as far as restoring hormonal balance in patients with PCOS. Um, so there is concerns about over-exercising and losing your period, and that is a condition called hypothalamic anamorrhea. And again, you're going to most likely see that in people who are over-exercising beyond that 60 minute point, female athletes, people that have unhealthy relationships with exercise, or if you are under eating significantly, under sleeping, and um, not taking um, lower intensity days for exercise. So if you're, if every single workout you do is super hardcore and you're not taking days where you're doing maybe like relaxing yoga or just walking outside, um, that could lead to hypothalamic anamoria. And that is something that's loosely connected to PCOS. There seems to be um, 
sort of a, a way where um, women, female athletes get hypothalamic anamoria and that kind of puts them into um, the peak of their PCOS symptoms. But again, um, there, there are some, some clear um, indications that that's a situation that um, you're kind of driving yourself into. And I would, would encourage you, if you think that might be you, to check out my PCOS and over-exercising video. Um, please leave your comments below if you have any questions at all. And if you came to this video because you just don't know why your cycles are irregular, you, I would encourage you to go to your physician and ask them if it's possible that you have PCOS. It is um, the most common cause of an ovulatory infertility among women and an ovulatory for infertility is basically you're not ovulating, you're missing your period. Um, so it is possible that that is something that you are struggling with and don't know it. All right. Um, so please subscribe to get more quick information about PCOS and exercise and healthy lifestyle. And I'll leave your comments below.